Alright, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons, everybody. I was just watching a video earlier today about the Werehog. That's potentially interesting and or upsetting. Thanks for sharing, Kajimafu. Anyways, um, if you weren't here last night, here's what happened. KK Slider. And also, I guess everything else? I don't think there's anything that left to work towards now that we have terraforming. Maybe I'll ask Tom Nook about it, but seems like... I am free to do as I please. Also mail. <gasps> Tyler sends something, and also KK Folk from Nook Shopping. Dear Griffin, the last existing ticks are in captivity. What you do with them will shape the course of Roblox history. Beware what choices you may make. What do you mean ticks? Are these, like, island tickets again, or... Interesting that drop item is the default for a present. That's what I do whenever I'm given a present. Oh, that's nice. It's a shame my village is still full, so I can't do anything effective with them. Apollo! The BRB reminded me of it. No, I just don't know who's out here making Werehog videos in 2020. <laughs> that's so 2018. Um, That goes in storage. This is a stone. This can go in storage. You may be wondering why I have three trees in my inventory. All will be explained in due time. I don't know whether or not to, like, sell them or trash them. Also, I forgot to turn this off. But you know what? It's kind of chill. So I want to leave it. My KK collection is really coming together, though. It's a shame that KK Cruisin' doesn't have the, the, the cool part. But it's fine. You know what I need? I need me some KK Bubblegum. Oh, wait a second. That's right. I, I haven't gotten the chance to sell any of this yet. I need, This is the first thing I need to do tonight, is sell all of this. Yeah, if you weren't here last night, I also have an enormous collection of um, crafted egg goods. Because for the past couple nights, it's it's been past 10. But right now it is 9.03. So I have 57 minutes to pick up every single one of these items, make several trips to Nook's Cranny, and sell all of them before 10 p.m. I don't know if we can pull it off. We might be, like, coming in right under, um, that window. It was about an unreleased, unreleased, Sonic unreleased, an unreleased Werehog plush prototype that somebody bought off of a Chinese auction site. <laughs> also, chat, I need you to tell me, do I sell the trees or do I... Find a new place to plant them, because I never know what to do with those. Oh yeah, I, I, I touched up my town square a little bit. Did some fancy stuff in the corners, made some dirt paths that lead to the houses, made the paths from stone to dirt in the first place, because they used to be tiny. Oh, my orchard grew back! So you, we can see what that looks like. What trees? Uh, I had three cedars in my inventory, just from, like, moving stuff from further terraforming. But I, I don't... I, I never do, like, tree stuff, so it's weird. I don't know what the correct thing to do here is, but I feel bad selling them. Because for so long there was a certain amount of foliage on my island, and I, I feel bad, like, depleting that. Just sell them? Fuck them? Oh, ho, ho, 38,000 for one, for one collection. For one inventory's worth. Plus three trees. If you need cedars, you can just buy them. Alright, alright, I'll sell them, I'll sell them. How many, how much are these worth anyways. Okay. I would say that they should be much more valuable, but they do grow in like three days, so fair enough. Is selling fruit one of my objectives right now? Let's take a look at the Nook Miles Plus and see what we might want to be working towards. Seashells, chopping wood. Mm-hmm. Pretty good stuff. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that because I certainly... Oh, we have a bell tree! And I keep calling him Bo. I'm sorry. Sherb. <laughs> Do you want a maid dress, Sherb? Yay! Are you out for a walk? Guys, he says yay. Let's talk. I love walks. They keep your feet entertained. Those are his hooves, you bitch! Need to pick up more eggs. God, I can't fucking wait to dethrone that wobbly zipper toy and put the turtle back in his rightful place. I find that selling trees generally isn't worth it, so I just chop them down. Well, yeah, 
but sometimes you don't have an axe and you just gotta eat a fruit and use it your shovel that you do have. Hey, what do you call a tree that's on Family Guy? <sighs> Cedar Griffin. You know, Kaijimufu, I like you. And yet, you do these things at every turn that really challenge me on that, you know? And I wish you wouldn't. I wish you wouldn't make it so hard for me. Anyways, I'm very happy, like, trying to picture how many bells these are all going to be worth in the end. Definitely going to make the 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 stacks of eggs we've had for so long. Perhaps finally worth something. I'll tell you what, I mean, I'm, I'm hitting stones with the shovel, I'm chopping trees. Wooden and, and minerals aren't really stuff that I sell, but... Eggs for as bad as they are, have turned something that I wouldn't sell into a little bit something that I would sell. So, at the very least, it has that going for it. Oh, hey, seen it. I don't know why you're raiding my channel with ninja emotes. I really wish you wouldn't. But thanks for dropping by. Thanks for showing up. I'm more of a... What was his name? Like, Pepe or something like that? Like, at the Game Awards? Where Ninja co-hosted with a Muppet? Wait, why do you guys have Fortnite emotes? What are you doing? Next bit! Hey guys, what's your favorite piece of egg furniture? I know it's hard to pick. Also, I need to see if Raymond is out and about tonight, because I don't know if my friendship has been increased with him enough for him to want a maid dress, but he better want it. This feels like my pockets are almost full. Yep! Their default emotes? There's default Fortnite emotes? I guess that's why they call it the default dance. Pepe the King Prawn, baby. <laughs> that's the one. And then they took a selfie together. I love video games. I love gamers. I love gaming. I should probably see what, um what floors and walls that they have on sale, because now that I have a second floor and a basement, like, I want to start doing something with them. I've had plans all this time, and now that I finally have them, I feel like the wallpaper is kind of in the way of all of that. Is this concrete flooring? Black iron parquet flooring. Hmm. This is just fucking Anodyne 2 glitch flooring. I like this. This could be good. I'll, I'll buy this. Also, I probably should have done that after I sold all of my egg stuff, because now that's an inventory slot that I can't use until I go back to my home. It's a very nice bunk bed. How much do you guys want to bet? Let's put some bells on the table here. Whether or not you can use that bunk bed, because I bet you, you can't climb the ladder and go in the second bunk! I'm saving that other wobbly zipper for last. I should have saved these for last as well, but... My hope is that I'll be able to carry the last batch in, in one go here. It'd be nice if this stuff can stack, but I guess it counts as furniture items, so... There you, there you go. Yeah, and on top of the bells that I'm gonna get from all this egg furniture, I've got some, uh... few bugs and fish sitting around back there, including an ore fish, which will... certainly... be a nice little extra something-something. DIE! There we go. No, I have to do it from this side, because then it won't rotate right. The king has returned. I vaguely remember you saying you were going to make the basement into a Keaton sex dungeon. Was that a Keaton the bird or Ke It's a Keaton the dog dungeon. I'm going to make some textures. So speaking of Keaton the bird, that ship has sailed. The last chance to get Keaton from Vicente's village is gone. So now I just have to pray. A hundred and twelve thousand? I guess because the wobbly zipper toys are worth so much, but oh, I've never seen 
that value of bells just sitting in the turtle in the top right before. I always go to the bank every time I make just a regular 100,000. Today is a good day, is a good start to a good day. And I can finally <laughs> finish this path here that this stuff has kind of been blocking up until now. I hate bunk beds so... Now that's an interesting take, Kaijumafu. Why do you hate bunk beds? You know what's fucked up? Is that I, when I was little I used to have a bunk bed, but I never shared it with a sibling. But you know what? I like the freedom that that offers. You know, like, any night... There's a tarantula in here? Any night you can just choose, you know what? Today's a top bunk kind of day. Today's a bottom bet bunk kind of day. Another 31,000. Oh! Bunk beds rule. What the fuck? Bunk beds are fucked. The ideal life is having those bunk beds that are just the top bunk, and then the bottom bunk is a desk. Ooh. Isn't that like an actual furniture item that you can get in Animal Crossing? I think I've seen those in a, in a couple of houses. You know, houses that don't happen to be mine, but houses nonetheless. I don't have any furniture. All I want, the one thing I want, holy socks. I don't know how that was a, was a leftover from construction, but I prefer not to ask questions as long as I get bells. Ooh. See, I mean, I didn't mean to click Redeem Nook Miles, but now that I think about it, maybe I want to shake things up a little bit. You know what? You know what? Terracotta does kind of slap. I think that's going to be the next one that I go for. If... I think I already have that one. I don't know if I have the Coral Fence. Didn't didn't people say that there were, there were going to be, like, new furniture options alongside this stuff once I get KK? Because so far, this looks like the same selection. Unless I have to keep scrolling to get to the new stuff. Yeah, I don't see anything new here, aside from, like, the path options. I actually really like a lot of, um, these furniture options that are here. So I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that there doesn't seem to be more of those, because... I think they have a pretty good idea of, like, what's cool and desirable, as far as furniture goes, and that's all in the Nook Mile stuff, so... I was maybe anticipating more of that, but it's fine. Need a bunk bed where the top bunk is a king-sized bed and the bottom is just a cave. We slept in an emptied out bull stable once on a church youth group trip and I was stuck with top bunk. And since it was a goddamn bull stable, it was practically outside. So I had to deal with giant ass bugs climbing all over me all night for a few... Well, that doesn't sound like it's the fault of bunk beds, you know, as a concept, you know? Also, look at that. We're already back up to 500,000. Nearly 600, actually. So that's very nice. Top bunk is cool, but also sucks for many. Why are we having this discourse? They're, they are flat out good, and there should not be an argument about this. Let's see. Are the binoculars? Yeah, they're like painted on. I was wondering if they were going to be like a 3D object or not. Interesting. <gasps> Only me. God, he's so sexy. Place order. One, there is very little vertical space, so you can't sit up. Again, this sounds like the fault of ceilings and not the fault of bunk beds. You know what? I'm going to talk to Tom Nook. What is it that we need to do next? Two is it's awkward in general, but very awkward for other activities. Not the bed's fault, but sleeping in one gives me bad flashbacks. Bottom bunks suck ass in general. Chat, pick a lane. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. I can't think of any more advice to- Fuck you, Tom Nook! Yes, you can! I still- How do I get the Able Sisters? Tom Nook's gonna, not gonna help me with that? Can we hold any ceremonies? I don't know. Ceremony for what? Of our new bridge. Ah, sure. I'm already looking at the menu. Why not? Splendid. Let's get started. In order to get started, we'll need to get started. Ooh, that's what we should do while we're here. We should build a ramp. Because I don't know how big they are, but that's one of the things that I would like to get into. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Yaoiville's brand new bridge. So many faces around here that I would... 
prefer not to see. Thanks to everyone's tireless efforts, Yaoiville is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. I do hope he can continue making great strides to improve the quality of life in this precious community. Yay. The sisters have to visit three times and then you get the shop. Uh-oh, sisters. I think I've seen... Mabel. Sable is the sad one, Mabel is the regular one, and the LaBelle is the fancy one. I haven't seen Mabel. I've, I've seen her twice, but not a third time, I don't think. Next, a few words from someone who made many, as in all, valuable contributions towards seeing the bridge built. I'm talking about resident rep, Griffin. Anything to add? Well, I don't want to climb down a ladder first thing in the morning. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Griffin. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative photo should get ready to press the screenshot button. Yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Yaiville's beautiful bridge. Hooray! You got Sherb, OMG. Hell yeah, I got Sherb, but I still don't have any fucking birds! Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. This bridge got no handrails. You gotta be careful. The only good part of the bottom bunk is when I was six and would use one of my sheets to cover up the entrance to my bed. You're right, that is epic. <gasps> what a start to my fucking day. Yeah, I was about to say, where the hell did this thing go? If you listen very closely, it makes fss noises. It hisses at me. See, now the tricky part is that it's kind of in like a claustrophobic space, so I'm worried that I might like bonk my net on um, like the handrail for the- <laughs> Why do you have a flimsy tool this late into the game? Because I didn't have any iron, Tyler! <laughs> I hate tarantulas! <laughs> It's not funny, chat! It's not funny! <laughs> Anyways, what I was going to say is that another cool thing about bunk beds is that when I was little and I was on my DS when I was supposed to be in bed on a school night, um, I, when I would sleep in the bottom bunk, um, like, you, you, whatever you would call the support for the, uh, the top bunk above you, I could, like, slide my DS, like, between the planks of wood and the mattress. So when so when, so when Daddy comes in, and he checks under the pillow, and he checks under the sheets, he's, whoa, where could it be? Hmm. I guess. I guess he's just asleep. I felt really fucking smart for that. Anyways, island designer time. Tarantulas be like, rar. Eggs taking up all the iron real estate. I know I just said the other day that a good idea is to just always be carrying sticks and iron, but then the thing about that is you eventually run out of sticks and iron. That's the that's the tricky that's what they don't tell you. What is it that I'm holding exactly anyways? Like this little wood thing and the thing that I'm holding on top of the wood? What is that called? I get the feeling that, like, all of these building animations for, like, terraforming and laying down paths were, um, were really fun to animate, I think. That's the vibe that I get. Or at least they were, like, an interesting, like, challenge to solve in terms of how you would, like, visually communicate something like this, but I don't know. The end result is- oh, Very satisfying- Gail! You're sitting on my oranges! Wait a second. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll sell this orange on the internet for a very high price. I thought it would like bounce on her head and like land somewhere else. No. You literally never have to run out of. S I know. I just. <laughs> Stop yelling. She's just showing you how to orange your man. 
you people are so lucky that there is not a grapefruit tree in this game. I let my DS charge in the other room overnight because I was a good little child who went to bed on time. Listen, as somebody who is not good at the Super- at the Mario and Luigi RPGs. That's a lie, I was very good at them. But, that's how I mainly made my progress in those games, because back then that's what I regarded as long. I just hid my DS behind my giant bear stuffy and they never found out. I- I feel like there was like a really good Tumblr post about something like, very similar. Where like... I mean, I can't remember the specifics, but something about, like, having parents that, like, try to be hyper-vigilant about stuff like that makes you, like, really good at hiding things. Even when it's, like, stuff that you don't even, like, have any need to hide. Like, you're just doing a normal thing and then your parent comes in and then you, like, hide it as if you're doing something wrong. Wait a second! Are those the stubby legs of who I think they are? <gasps> there he is! Oh, I wish I had a tarantula! Oh, I've never seen him before! He looks so cool! Once I sell all my fruit, I'm gonna go see him. I didn't know today was a flick day! Good little children who go to bed on time didn't get to experience the pure melancholy of Wild World at 11 p- I'm sorry, I never played Wild World! I know that my cousins had it when we would all bring our DS's over at Portuguese Christmas because because we our tradition was we opened up the presents on Christmas Eve. My parents were like, fuck that, so when we went back home, we would have, like, a second round of presents on Christmas morning. And they tried to make Christmas Eve, like... They, they, they went out of their way to make sure that it wasn't more impressive than Christmas morning, so we actually didn't, didn't get very much cool stuff. But... That was when all the cousins would come over and all the family would visit and we would all open our presents at our at our grandparents' house. And all my cousins had Animal Crossing Wild World. I'm like, oh yeah, I've read about that in Nintendo Power. <laughs> Gayest character in Animal Crossing history. Speaking of, what do you guys think of the, um, like the music so far in New Horizons? Now that we've, like, hit the hourly thing? I don't know. Something about it. I think it's yet to click with me, so far. Damn it. Bet Flip would have really loved that. But I don't know, when I was doing that Galaxy Gallery, um, with Raymond and, like, the, the doodles that I was doing with Robin and Max, um, and I was listening to, like, the city folk music, I don't know, that stuff, I don't, and I, and I promise this isn't nostalgia, but it was like, I think it hits harder than anything in, um, New Horizons has so far. You know? Does anybody else get that vibe? This better be worth a lot. 30,000?! I was expecting a lot, but not that much a lot, just for fucking fruit. That's egg prices right there. Some of the hourly songs are misses, but the morning and afternoon slash evening songs have a lot of good ones. Well, as somebody who's only able to play at this hour, I've yet to find any bangers. I mean, I need to play... I get busy work done during the day, but what is this? Oh, based on the amount of fruit you sold. Oh god, 3,000. Mature pet. Animal Crossing GameCube music hits different. I don't know, I hear 3 a.m. more than I hear... Oh, that's a flower, not a tarantula. Listen, just because I said I wish I caught one doesn't mean that I wish I saw one. Even though one has to lead to the other. God, and there's more peaches yet. Give me the gate. There you are, you were hiding behind a tree. Oh, look at it, guys! Look at his net! It has little spikes on it! Oh, uh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I'm kind of a bug buff. Kind of a buff bug. An insect enthusiast. An arthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. I've been traveling a- look at all of these poses and expressions! He's so cute! I've been traveling across all the islands looking for my soul bug. The perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggling leg, each joint of the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. Guys, look at his fucking choker. Look at his fucking choker! So, if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Also, I definitely pronounced that wrong. 
Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're, um, interested in my art and all, just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> my commissions are open! Flick, I can't advertise this. <gasps> commissions? Oh, uh, are you interested? I consider it my mission to bring the pug's beauty, however imperfectly, to places they have yet to be blessed. A pug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation, while we poor observers are flawed. I seek to capture a shadow of that form, and while I do need live models to work from, I don't charge bells. Can I actually, can I actually commission him? If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring me three of them? Commission of- <gasps> Yes, I'll be happy to- Wait, you're not ready! I've not yet completed my rites of devotion. Dedicate yourself to catching three of your chosen bug. When they have deemed you worthy, see me again. I can't be advertising this on my stream. He's competition! That's such a good fucking bit! Sometimes the writing is, like, too good. Like, sometimes it's, like, too accurate to our, to our modern era. How do people at Nintendo even know about internet artists and commissions? What the fuck? Anyways, here's a koi. That was really fucking funny. Have you met CJ yet? I've seen CJ, but I also haven't talked to him. Because, again, I don't like doing cool things off stream. So if I get this bug, he'll buy it for 150% of its value? He's just a fucking Twitch streamer. I wish I had a choker. <laughs> I wish I had a spiky bug net. <sighs> Look at him. He's got piercings. <laughs> yeah, he buys all bugs for 50% more. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, first of all, I forgot to purchase a ramp deed or whatever. But let me show you um, a few of the other terraforming things that I've been up to since... Uh, last night. This is some of the busy work that I was talking about. So, so as you can see, uh, Penis Pond has been ex uh, expanded. Dong has expanded. Why can't they live in my town? It's so unfair. It is! I love Flick! I See, I thought they were a villager at first. I didn't realize that they were an event character. And I'm very, very sad about that. If they were a villager, they would move in first thing. That's for sure. God, look at this. I can actually fish without fear. It's crazy. Remember when fishing was enjoyable? Like, Animal Crossing New Horizons made me fall in love with fishing in a way that no other Animal Crossing has made me. And then the egg event made me hate fishing all over again, and I almost forgot that I ever started to love fishing at all. Isn't that fucked up? Okay, ramp time. Yeah, lizard villagers would kick ass, kind of bummed we didn't get any new species. Man, I fucking hate those eggs. Well, I do love 300,000 bells, so it's not all bad. Do I- ramps are 50,000, right? How much do I have at the moment? 38,000. I'm assuming I need to extract some capital from the ABD before I talk to Tom Nook. Or he'll get mad with me. Oh, that was a deposit! I thought I was- I meant to withdraw. Whoopsie. Uh, let's get 80,000. Let's get 83... 837. Yeah. Also, I've still never invited an amiibo camper. I- there's like an island that you go to or something where you can pose them. I just haven't- I have never seen kicks yet. I need him. Uh, let's talk infrastructure, baby. It's so sad that these are the only two options now. I can't even ask about my house. Uh, about bridges slash inclines. Bridges and inclines, hmm? How can I help? Let's make an incline. Demolish something. Oh, curious about setting up an incline. Ramps and stairs make it easier to ascend our cliffs. Yes, yes. Go ahead and pick out one of our catalog, please. Oh. I think I, like, had a quick peek at what these looked like before, but now I need to, like, decide on which... I like the natural one, honestly. Like, these are more expensive, but I don't know if they're, like, visually worth it. I think this is the best one, in my opinion, which works for me. 
A natural ramp. Oh, so I can't afford it still. And do you want to proceed with the construction of this incline? Yes, please. Excellent. In that case, let's settle on a location next. Use the incline marker kit I've placed within your pockets to set aside some land for our incline project. You'll want a decent amount of space to use it. And make sure you're standing near the base of the cliff. When you're ready, you'll be able to imagine what your new incline will look like. Okay, that sounds like a pretty good setup process. I'll need to extract a few more bells here. But it looks like I didn't need to get them before talking to Tom Nook. As long as I have it in my pocket when I decide, you know, where to construct it, then I'll, I'll be good. That ought to do it! You need 50 ramp eggs to craft these! Hey, that's a good question! So, when we made our first bridge, there was no upfront cost, but we had to supply materials? For the new bridge that I just built, it didn't ask me to get any materials, and for the longest time I was assuming that's why I'm sitting on a disgusting amount of, like, stone and iron and stuff. But all I had to do was, like, use prices. So why the hell do I have 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 stacks of... Like, you know, if it's just for furniture, I don't see how I could possibly use that much just for crafting furniture. Like, I feel like I'm still missing out on something important that I need to be crafting towards, but I, I don't know what it is. God, look at that. It blends in with the bridge perfectly. Ah, uh, that is spectacular. Oh, while I'm here on this, this side of the bridge, um, let me update you on my mansion cliff plans. So, taking a look at the map here, my initial plan, you can see that there's a body of water where I had originally constructed um, my layered series of cliffs, um, but I decided to like move everything back. So instead of being like on the, on the on the E2 line, it's more like on the D2 line, uh, because where my house currently is, like I've built everything on the other side of this river. But if I'm gonna move my house here, I don't want like going back and forth. If I can make that any shorter, then I will. So I'm going to make it now, even with this path. So the new plan is there's going to be a ground floor bridge here, and then you hop over like this. What the fuck? Can I not cross this with the... That's odd. There we go. And then you use the ladder and you climb up here. I mean, this is all going to be bridges and ramps, but this is the plan. You may also notice that it, I've kind of like merged it with the cliff that was already here. So I'm going to have to remove like all the trees and stuff that used to be here. And then there will be another ramp. And then the house will be up here, but I need to make more ground. The worst part is, is that you can see where I've already kind of built up a lot of cliffs. But if you look at like how wide this is and how wide the cliff on top is, my initial plan was to build it all the way down, all the way to here, right? And that's what I actually fucking did. But, um... Like, and I filled in every single square, you know, from corner to corner. And then I filled every single square on the cliff on top, and it took a very long time. And only later did I realize that I needed to, to move any of it. <gasps> realized that a little bit too late. So I don't know how much of that I'm going to do right now. I do have a ramp construction kit at the moment, but first things first, I think the best place to put it is to, like, get started on Penis Pond. I want a ramp here so I can get an idea of like how much space I need to like accommodate to make a ramp and and then we'll get an idea of where to go from there. So let's, this is the wrong button. Let's bust this thingy out and see how the ramp construction process works. Let me imagine it, let's, let's see. So it's like four spaces including, oh that's not bad at all. So really you only need three spots of clearance. I was expecting it to be a lot more. Um, yeah, that that's a good spot. Okay, let's go for it. And then I'll be able to pay that off pronto as well. That's a step up for this island, haha. <laughs> Crafting materials are just for stuff that you want to make now. That's a little... That's a little disappointing, if I'm being honest. That's the wrong number. I had auto-corrected. Because I have way too much 
of crafting materials, and my expectation was that eventually I would have to be putting it towards, like, big things. But now, I'm just sitting on a ton of resources and nothing to do with them. There aren't any more big- well, I also don't have able sisters. Do I have to build that, or does it just show up as it pleases? Oh, I should be getting seashells, too, because that's a, a crafting goal. Or uh, a Nook Miles goal, rather. Remember like 10 minutes ago how about how you were talking about if you used iron for tools you'd run? I'm not saying that I would run out. I'm saying that's what happened to the iron that used to be in my inventory because I make lots of tools. Abel sisters show up after you've bought stuff from Mabel a few times, but she leaves town at 8 p.m. Fuck! Of course she does. Of course she does. You know, I don't choose this life. If I could do this during the day, I would. You know, I'm being punished. I feel like Hisashi no Gami has come into my bedroom and felt under my pillow and he's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. oh, you're playing late? Oh, uh oh, Griffin, you're grounded. I'm just here to fish and fuck. But yeah. I'll, like, keep going along down this beach, getting seashells and whatnot. And then the next time I stop by my house, I'll get some sticks and iron that have been hanging out in my inventory. Why not set your clock back? You're missing out on so much stuff. I am, but I'm also, like, against time traveling. And I like... It's like the system clock, too. And I like being able to, like, tell the real time by looking at my Switch. Because then I get a good idea of, like, when to switch games. And that would fuck with me. Just by, like, a few hours... Oh my god, look at all these seashells! <gasps> Sherby! I'm gonna talk to him again and he's gonna say, Bah. Hey, uh, nice day for a walk, huh? Let's chat, Sherb. Your house is real big now. It's so big that I can use it as a landmark. And I can nap in its shade. All the bugs think it's neat, too. One of them called it a mountain, and I said, Nah, it's bigger than that. Sherbert. He's so cute. Can you believe he shares the same species with... Billy? I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of furniture that I would love to have in my home, but I can't craft any of it yet. Because I don't have recipes, I don't have shit. I'm sitting on all this furniture, I got a scale that fell from a balloon. And I've got a kitchen, but no, like a bunch of kitchen stuff, but no counter to put them on, it's driving me insane. I'm gonna take one of these for safety. I'll take... See, I don't like having 30 stacks, because then I have two slots in my inventory being taken up. So I'll take these. That should be fine for now. And I haven't used the shovel on any of the rocks yet today, so that'll inevitably increase. If this is the only time of day you can play, then that's a huge bummer. I mean, I do... A few busy things during the day on my own time, like I was talking about like the, the terraforming that I did off stream, because that's kind of boring, but the end result is still something that I want, so if it's stuff like that or just kind of farming bells and going back and forth between catching lots and lots of bugs and fish, then I'll just sell the ones that I already have and then analyze the ones that I don't on stream, I'll like wait for that. Um, but if it's like anything event related, like, if Flick were to show up... Oh, shit! All my egg clothes! I need to sell these, too. But, yeah, I mean... I feel like I've definitely missed out on, on quite a bit already, it's, it feels like, compared to what everybody else has been doing. Damn, they're already full. I guess we'll drop it. I choose to blame the iron for this. Imagine Sherb, but they're also yummy Sherbert. Are you saying that I should eat Sherb? If anything, I say we should eat Stewie and Nick Robinson. And maybe Ed. Oh boy. I guess I wanted to sell seashells. Is that nine or... No, that's nine. Hmm... Guess we're not quite through with the the bells yet. Ooh. 
so the costs of all of these egg items, egg furniture, egg clothes that you get, they're basically, I think somebody said a few streams ago that isn't it like one egg is worth 200 bells, right? So it's the sum of all the eggs you put in to craft it and then plus 400 or something like that? Oh god, clay. Yeah, I'll do all the rocks right now cuz it this is I hate having holding on to these resources. Crafted versions are worth twice as much. Oh. It's the price of their materials doubled. Oh, neat. Eggs are 200, crafted eggs are 400, so just double the price. Oh shit. God, imagine what those 500 eggs could have gotten me. Those 510 eggs. Oh, for some reason I thought these, these were all maid dresses. I have to make sure. One of them is. Yeah, I gotta be careful there. What the hell is clay even for? I feel like that's like the most seldom used material of them all. Like, I don't know, is everybody else just sitting on a, on a ridiculous horde of rock stuff? Well, I guess that's that's what this path leads to. This is the, the designated rock path. Clay-based products. Oh, bell rock. I mean, it's gonna have to go come Able Sisters, but apparently I'm not getting them anytime soon. Clay can make lots of cute recipes. But I don't know how to get the recipes, huh? Well, hold on. Every time you, like, hit a milestone, there's... Like, a new batch of DIY recipes that you get from Nook's Cranny. Is KK Slider another one of those milestones? Because if so, maybe that's how I pick up on, on a few more of these. God, there's, like, fish showing up in my, uh... Work in progress mansion foundation. I'm out of rock and low on iron because walls be- what do you mean walls be expensive? Like fences? God, I can't believe you of all people are out and about right now. Fucking stewie. <sighs> when is he gonna leave? What do I need to do? I've whacked him with a net, I've ignored him, I feel like I've tried everything. I'm also gonna hang out on this beach because I need a few more shells before I can actually Get the miles for that. Visiting villagers in their houses and catching them crafting, plus balloon presents, are some of the best ways to get recipes. Oh, and messages in bottles. Oh, hey! <laughs> Speaking of, yeah, messages in bottles, of course. Well, let's see what this one has for me. Watch it be a repeat. From Caesar. Tiki Torch. I know, I definitely know that one. Well, guess I'll have to wait another day to get a chance at crafting one piece of furniture. I'm trying to, like, organize my things. So that all my dumb resources are up in the corner, and then everything else. And this kind of has its own corner. Well, I get four a day, so, like, I'll align these vertically. Yeah. Speaking of, I haven't checked uh, this area of the island for any fossil dig spots, but I bet there's a few here and there. I would hunt for bees as well, but I'm still working with a flimsy net, and I'm a little bit afraid that I'm gonna, like, break something. But I guess I have iron now, so I don't have to worry about it as much. I should make a real net the next time I find a crafting table. Check all of the villagers that are home. Amiibo villagers asking for crafting stuff is a great way to get new ones since they give the recipe to you. I know. They see, the thing is, is that I only like maybe like two or three of my villagers at, at the moment. Apparently Ed is either out or sleeping. Oh, hey, spot for a bell tree. Cool. So I've always been putting in like 10,000 bells per tree. Should I be putting in any more or is that like a good amount to be putting in per hole. 
Because I hear that, like, you can put in more, but, like, the more bells you put in, it's, like, less of a chance that you'll get, like, a return on investment. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know the specifics, but I'm sure I've got uh, some real Animal Crossing geniuses in chat. 30k is the best amount? Oh. Okay, okay. Then 30k is what I will do. So I take three stacks of 10,000 and I can just, like, stack them like that then? Because you either get the 30k back or you get 90k. So it's not a 100% chance like 10k is. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I thought it went, like, put away into the hole, but I see now that I had to click bury. Maybe if you stopped being so judgy. Maybe if my villagers moved out and were replaced by villagers that I wanted to visit. Hmm? Well, I guess I'll see that in a few days. Right, Sherb's out, and there's no fossils, so I guess... Yeah, I think the last place to patrol is actually... Just so happens to be Penis Pond slash Raymond's house. 100k to 1 bells always gets you a tree with 3x 1k bells. Dash 2k dash 9k bells. 70% chance of 3x 1k bells. 30% chance of 3x the amount you buried. 10k to 99k bells. 70% chance of 3x 10k bells. 30% chance of the 3x amount you buried. I have no idea what the fuck I just read. That was a salad of numbers. Um, but you know, see what I mean? The knowledge is out there. People have figured this stuff out. It's just up to me to do that myself. Oh, hey. Last shovel spot. And it just so happens to be next to a certain someone's house and look who's home. Give me, give me a sec though. First I got a fish. See, this is a great spot for Raymond's house because he's got his own little, goddammit, personal place to dig at all his fish, because that's what cats like to do. <laughs> they still haven't made this into a real net. Basically, if you, in the long run, you lose money by planting more than 10 cable. Tyler just made me plant 30, so let's hope I wind up lucky on that one. In the short term, you get more money if you are lucky. Hmm. <gasps> hey, speaking of crafting, hi Raymond! Oh, Griffin! Welcome to the House of Raymond! Whatcha doin'? Glad you asked. Right now I'm making a wonderful and amazing stone wall. Raymond threw the, the first brick. I got the idea to make it from a crazy dream I had the other night. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the stone wall? Yes, both. Uh-oh. I've already forgotten my dream. But I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. I think I already have a recipe for a stone wall. Hey, give it a try, Griffin. If I can make this, anyone can. Yeah, but do you want a maid dress? <gasps> what? Really? You're so hot. There's something I have to do first. I have to take my hat off. This is a respectful moment. This is a ritual. I'm done. This is how you actually beat Animal Crossing. Holy shit. This is so bad. These are for you? Is he, is he gonna do it? <gasps> it can't be! Can it? A maid dress! Whoa, this is different from my usual style. But I'll, I'll try on anything that looks cute. Here we go! <gasps> <laughs> oh yes, the color is exquisite! You're too generous. Seriously, I can't just take that for free. Here, let me give you 754 bells for it. Raymond, you're amazing. He pays me to put him in a maid dress. This is the perfect game. <laughs> oh. We really do live in a society. We really do live in Yowieville. <sighs> Respectful moment. No, this is a thumbnail moment. It can be both. <sighs> Next stop, Wolfgang, I suppose. I wish I could have put a flick in a maid dress. <sighs> yes, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Let's see. What do I even do? What do I have left in life? 
I guess I can sell some seashells and then donate my fossils and hopefully that'll give me some extra Nook Miles points. She looks so cute. That's a boy! And that makes it even better. I want to sell, please. Oh, I was about to sell all of these. And I guess these are both duplicate DIY recipes, so I can get rid of those as well. There we go, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Tortimer's alive! The funny thing is, is that when I put <laughs> when I put that turtle there in, fr in front of resident services, I don't even remember if Tortimer was a turtle or not. I just thought it was funny, because the turtle is like the only like living creature that you can place as an object like this. But I guess it all worked out. God, I really need to make a new flag. What should it even be? You guys need to help me figure that out. The fucking megalomania. <laughs> okay, let's see. Assess fossils here. I haven't gotten very many new ones as of recent, so we'll see if this ends up being any different. Let's see, this is a left megalo side, which I believe is a duplicate. I guess I can use the bells, though. I'm, I'm 2.5 million in debt at the moment. Oh, I've been getting all these bugs, but I, I haven't even given any to, to Flick. I gotta commission him! Hoo-hoo. Uh, I... And a can't thust a can't the Superb indeed. Well then I will donate it. I would like to not see it. Griffin, assess all of your fossils at once. How do you do that? I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well preserved Acanthostega. Yes, please give me a presentation. I'm currently in the process of getting an island of nothing but cat villagers plus Claude. Oh, you can assess them all at once, but then donate one by one. It saves time. That's a good point. Thanks, Tyler. If I figure out how to do that, then I will do that from now on. The Acanthostega. Said to be one of the earliest amphibians, it existed well before the dinosaurs. Because they lived as fish not long before, they still had gills and very webbed, quote-unquote, hands. To toss away the life they knew and venture onto unknown lands. They must have been very brave. Yeah, it's like the Animal Crossing ladder of the Animal Kingdom. Hmm. Does it still count as bravery if you have no understanding of what you're doing? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Okay, so that's the second one that I've assessed, right? So, when I hit Assess Fossils again, can I do the next two in a pair? By not pressing plus until you click A on multiple fossils. I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, more than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed, quite splendid. Alas, our museum already has fossils such as these. I'm indeed tempted to purchase these for my personal collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. So I guess I only had the one new one. That's really handy. Thanks, Tyler. I guess I'm idiot. Yeah, so these are all... Yeah, Stego Tail, I might go aside. I think I actually... Those are both dinosaurs whose fossils I already have completed if I recall correctly. If you weren't here last night, I finally got around to taking another tour of the museum uh, for the first time in a very long time to get an idea of how the, the museum collection is coming together. And man, the fossil exhibit is gorgeous once it really starts coming together. And this, like, the sense of scale you get from some of, some of the dinosaurs you find, oh, it's great. Uh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. I'm sure Tom Nook has a couple skeletons in his closet, uh, but not dinosaur skeletons. I don't think he's interested in... Any of my bones. Well, my bones, but not my bones. Timmy and Tommy, however, fucking love bones. They can't get enough. I would like to sell. Yeah, maybe what I'll do next is like get some bugs for Flick. Before that opportunity escapes me. Very nice. The aquarium is my favorite. God, I wish I could live in an aquarium. I feel like this is something that I brought up. Tyler was like, Griffin, it's so sad that you have to play during late hours. This is so sad. Can we get 10,000 likes? Um, oh, I, I didn't even, like, start processing my miles. I bet there was an assessing fossils one that I'm fucked on now. Okay, we're good. I should chop some wood, though, while I'm here. 
so I'm like a little bit scared that I'm gonna get wasps because I haven't done my usual hunting. So I'm just gonna bust this out just in case so I can like hot swap it. So what is it? Five trees? That's not so bad. I should like start planting more orchards though because if, if two pairs of all the fruit gets me like 30,000, like that's pretty good. I should like keep going with that. It's a stone! Love Tommy, special wonderful lad. Fuck Timmy, hate that rat. I see. You know, as harsh as that is, I think I, I have to share the same opinion. If only because Tommy gives me the excuse to do my <laughs> very funny uh, Wasso voice. Let's see, so that is 5,050, ooh. I'm still scared that it's going to ask me to assess fossils. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucked. But I guess we're fine for the time being. Let me water these flowers while I'm at it, though, as well. Wait, did I? No, they're sparkling. I already watered these ones. I still haven't gotten a single pink version of these flowers. Are you just, like, unable to even get pink ones, or... Am I just very unlucky? Maybe I just need to find, like, the, the right pattern. And I'll get these ones, too. <coughs> Let's see, and that gets me another 100 points. That's almost two whole paths! I can't need to stop by my house and get a few tools and put a few things in storage as well. And, for the love of God, craft a real net! Oh, by the way, did I ever get an answer on um, whether or not there's like a new batch of recipes to get from the Nooklings, or did I get all of the ones that I can get? Because I haven't gotten anything after KK. Put pink windflowers is orange and red. Is that so? That makes no sense, but I'll, I'll give that a try. That's interesting. Yes, I'm all done for now. The axe I can get from storage. Although, because I was chopping wood, it's telling me that I'm actually able to craft it right now. Actually, it had, no it had nothing to do with the wood. It's because of the shovel rocks. I don't think the Nooklings will get any more new recipes until the shop upgrades. What do you mean, until the shop upgrades? Is that confirmed, then? How do I get that? Tom, I keep asking Tom Nook, and he keeps telling me that I have nothing new to do anymore. Because I feel like I... <clears throat> I've talked about that before, where, like, the amount of space that it takes up is a little bit weird. Like, there's a fence that goes all the way around. So I theorize that maybe at some point it gets bigger, like houses do. That is not a rancho. But yeah, see, and there's like a bucket. Like, why does that take up like an extra square of space? It's a bit odd. But there were no more upgrades, I thought. So I kind of... 30 days after you build the shop, it will upgrade. Oh! Wait, so then how do you people know that? Wait, that's not fair. This is where Stewie lives. I'm not going inside. No, that's where Nick Robinson lives. Equally scary, though. Let's see. I guess my next goal is to... Uh-oh. By reading about it? No. By time traveling, you fucking cheaters! <gasps> oh no, the shop! Why are you closed? <laughs> the lights probably turned off while I was standing in front of it. Not that I even have anything to sell. But you know, it's just... You, you hate to see it. Let's see. What's a common enough bug that we should get Flick to draw for us? Man-faced stink bugs are pretty common, so I want to go for one of those, I think. Are there any up here on, on the Yowieville... Near the Yowieville sign? No. Hmm. Love you, Flick. <laughs> it's a surefire way to find out if somebody... Oh, shit! I was just here! <laughs> 
to be quite fair, you built the shop very... Yeah, but the game hasn't, like, been launched for 30 days. That's April 20th. That would be 30... <gasps> Guys! This is the month! Have we talked about this? Well, maybe a little bit, but... Um, so on March 20th, um... Sega was going to do a big South by Southwest thing. Because they... For 2020, it's like their year of Sonic or whatever. So their thing that they've been doing is announcing a new Sonic-related thing on the 20th of every month. And all the signs are pointing towards that Sega was going to announce the next big 3D Sonic game on March 20th. But then COVID happened, and that got cancelled, and moved to April 20th. But guys, April 20th is like right around the corner. Like, what do you think they're going to announce? Aids and I talked about this a little bit last night, but, like, what are your guys' final bets here? You should make a tarantula island and get a full inventory of them. I don't know, that's always sounded like it's, like, it involves a lot of work. With my luck, the tarantulas just kind of come to me, whether or not I ask for them. So, red and orange <laughs> windflowers, huh? Sonic movie tie-in game. That's not funny, Femi. Haha, <laughs> very- good joke, Femi, <laughs> but for real? This is a joke, but if they do that, all hope is lost. God, that is fucked up to think about. The game based on the movie based on the game! I can't believe Tarzan Untamed came full circle after all. Sonic Forces 2! I've got my own theories, but I want to see what, what chat is expecting. Actually, the 20th should be... I might be able to stream that if it's like a live event that they do. I would love to do a reaction to that if possible. Those are always fun. Street Fighter, the movie, the game, the hedgehog. <laughs> peaches. Speaking of peaches, I feel like I've brought this up before, but I've got a massive thing of fuzzy pe peaches. Like, I'm looking at it across the room in my bedroom right now. And it's yet to be unopened. But I do like me some fuzzy peaches. I'm tempted. Oh, guys, here's an idea. We can take the excess orange windflowers from Audie's property and then mix them in with the red ones in front of the museum. And then we'll get some pink ones for sure. But I already watered these, so I don't know if that's like locked in the potential for crossbreeding tonight or or not. But it'll give it a shot either way. It's 420, so it's going to be Sonic smoking weed. God, I can't wait. Yeah, we'll just water these and, well, I guess we'll see what happens. You have to water me. I'm a thirsty little flower. Ah. It should roll for hybrids at 5 a.m. Interesting. Let's go talk to Adi, speaking of. Why are you keeping peaches in your bedroom? They're, I mean, fuzzy peaches. They're a type of candy. Stay in trendy foxtrot. Let's talk. Clear skies are amazing. They really make you think about how huge our galaxy is, you know? Like, sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night, some of the starlight we see has traveled... See, I would put starlight as one word. Light we see has traveled billions of years to get here to our island. I want to make a joke about me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. For a moment, I just assumed that the word was mature and I got it wrong. But it was actually, for once, the right word. Um, speaking of talking to villagers... I mean, this is also a Nook Miles thing, so I should be doing this either way. Um, these are my neighbors who love me and want nothing more than to be treated kindly. But I want to do it so that I can build up a rapport with Wolfgang, and then he too will wear- Where is he? Is he out or asleep? I'm not here. I guess he is out and about somewhere. Where could he be? I mean, I would say that there shouldn't be any possible way for- 
Wolfgang or Sherb to get down from these cliffs, but Sherb is just hanging out in front of my house, so I guess they've got some way of getting around this island. This is now a Maynard's sponsored stream. Listen! Ooh! If I could, I would. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, also, I thought sailor collar dress. Hmm. This one, this is actually pretty phenomenal. However, this is not what I meant to click. No, 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 no. I love that there's a manual and closed instruction book. Unfortunately, I peaked on day two. Villagers will just spawn on land masses, so they could be anywhere. Oh. Watch the big announcement be Sega Ages Sonic the Fighters. I was talking to its, you know, Sonic Adventure this, Forces 2 that, um... But one, one thing that I brought up is like, hey, how come nobody's talking about Mania 2? Because that would be a really, like, cheap and easy and probably really successful thing for them to do relative to, you know, Forces. But apparently, um, its is a little more in the know regarding, like, that studio than I am. And I believe the situation is, like, originally the first Mania was a collaboration between, like, Pagoda West Games and Christian Whiteheads. It was, like, a, a couple of different uh, sources. But after Mania, they merged into, like, one studio, right? However, and they have said that they're working on a project, but also, like, one of the people who was involved with the project said that, like, they're not on the Sega payroll or something like that, which seems to suggest that they're not working on Mania at the moment. I don't know. But that seems to be what people are saying. Sure, do you want a maid dress yet? Are you my best friend yet? We will be. Flake is visiting today. I promised the bugs in my house that I wouldn't sell them to him. <laughs> you don't sell your friends. That's super uncool. Teleports behind you. Heh, <laughs> nothing personnel, Snacky. <gasps> Get it, Adi. Get it. You got this. Aww. <laughs> She's so determined. They reflect this sullied world, yet retain their own beauty. I am bewitched by those compound eyes. Oh, um, sorry. Lost in my thoughts, all alone. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any. Kind. Oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know. Okay, bye. <laughs> Flick, I love you! That's me. That's me. That's me at the end of my streams. I'm also like, oh yeah, if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know. Okay, bye. Uh, tell me about your art, Flick. Oh, I see. The time has come for we two travelers to begin our journey together. What bug have you chosen to act as our guide? Apple? Noble man face stink bug. Can you part with three of them? They'll be happy and safe with me. Yes, please. Please. Scored a commission. <laughs> I mean, um, and so our contract is bound, human. This is really good. I feel like this is written from a place of, like, knowledge and familiarity, you know? Like, this is too spot on. Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my beholden blood. When I have completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the man-faced stink bug by mail. I love you, Flick. Thank you. Wait, what the hell? The moth that Adi was hunting is gone. I guess she got it after all, huh? There's a gale. Where could Wolfgang be? I feel like I've turned this whole island upside down. I love that he's got a little donut. He's so cute. There's Adi. Well, where could Wolfgang be then? You know what? Maybe the West Beach. I rarely visit that area. I mean, I'm building my house there, so I'm gonna have to start sooner or later, but... If he's out, maybe he's at the museum. Yeah.
That's where Raymond was when I first got, well, not the maid dress, but the, the gothic dress that Tyler sent me that was uh, a, an imposter maid dress. Flick feels like half of my classmates in my character design class. Well, where do you think Wolfgang is hanging out, though? Because with Raymond, I feel like that it was like an obvious guess, right? Because he's a fish, so he... He's a fish! Oh, well, there, that was easy. Because he's a cat, and cats like fish. Uh, hey there, Griffin. Ain't nothing fishy about hanging out in here. That seemed funnier in my head. What's the latest? The fish in the river change each season, but I can look at them all year round. How great is that? Oh, I guess that's my... Yeah, because I talked to Sherp, too, so he's my third, actually. Neat. Yeah, so I guess there's no rhyme or reason to what villagers show up where. Being here reminds me of the river in my hometown. Me and the fellas... Oh, cracking open a cold one with the boys would hang out there all day. I wonder what them guys are doing nowadays. <laughs> Probably hard time, knowing those characters. And then he makes direct eye contact with the camera. Wolfgang, I'm not done with you. Something up? Spring's the season for river fish. It's nice that I can size them up here, then go right out and fish for them. Wow. I really am doing a, a, a community, a service, aren't I? You're just now realizing that this place is called Yowieville? <laughs> the fish in the river change each season, but I can look at them all year round. Here. How great is that? Okay, I'm assuming that's enough conversation for the day. Guys, remember when Raymond said, like, what if we were dating? Kind of fucked up. Wolves eat fish too? Okay. Well, I'm sure they can. Meat some meat. As is the Yowieville, the famous Yowieville motto. But there, there's just not like a, like a popular connotation like there is with cats and fish, you know? Yeah, here, let me sit in Audie's backyard here. And look upon the giant Yowieville sign that's still kind of half obscured by vending machines. I really gotta find a new spot for those. I'm not happy with where those are currently. Maybe now that Penis Pond has expanded, I can find a new place for them there. I don't know. Maybe in front of resident services? I don't know. I mean, there is this big stretch of land that was initially just occupied by a shit ton of Easter furniture, but if this is, like, centered on resident services, there should be, like, another, like, big plaza area here, I think. That would be a cool idea. And then there could be, like, benches and vending machines and stuff here. I think that could work out. You know what? Hold on. I think I have a reaction for this. Well, first of all, I want to reassign Joy. Okay, you have to hit Y to go to all, and then... What is it? Hold on. There's one where you get an idea, right? Do I have that one? Pleased, happiness, joy, laughter, delight, apologetic, surprise, shocked. Well, I'm shocked that I don't have the idea one. But considering I don't really have anything else to do at the moment, I may as well get started on this plaza area now. It's time to put my maid hat on. So what does the request cleanup option actually do? I'm sure the enclosed instruction book could tell me all about it, but I'd rather not even bother with it. You know what? Hold on. Scrap this. Scrap this. Scrap this. Actually, I am happy with it being rounded and just only stuck out one more, but let's put that terracotta to use, huh? Ooh. Like, let, let's give this a shot and see if this looks any good. Oh shit, the official cooking mom on Twitter is speaking out about the Switch game? Oh shit! What happened? Yeah, somebody said during Spyro that there was like some sort of Bitcoin miner, and it's like, it was taken down from the eShop, and like, the developer's address is like a random house in the middle of nowhere. Do we, do we have word yet? It's supposed to be used to clean up stuff that you can't reach. Oh, interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm making a G. Or a Q now.
and then it puts it in the recycle bin, but I'm afraid to try it since I don't know the range on it. Yeah, it's just a fucking screen wipe. It just flattens your island. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if this necessarily, like, looks really good next to... Like, in front of resident services and next to the stonework here. However, I think this would be a great idea to, like, build my house on top of, like, this kind of pattern. Um, for now, I'll keep it and just get the layout done. I won't paint over it for the time being. That'll be a thing that I do off-stream. However, I think the idea of just having um, a plaza-ish area here is for now a good idea. And also, I, I am just desperate to find a place to put those goddamn vending machines that don't block the Yowieville signs. So, this is what we're doing for now. Yeah, I think it needs to be, like, too taller, like this, to form, like, an actual perfect square. Apparently the company that was licensed to make the game was asked to, fic nu to fix numerous issues with the game before releasing it, but instead of doing that, they just released it on the eShop against the wishes of the rights holders for Cooking Mama. Interesting. The dev company also said a lot of things about a PS4 version of the game, but the rights holders said that it was never in the cards for their deal. Interesting. Buildings erase terrain patterns, sadly. Well, I'm more so talking about, if you'll direct your attention to the bottom left-ish, well, not really. Uh, bottom line of D2, how there's like a waterfall and a series of terraced square structures, that's going to be where my new house, where, well, the new location for my current house, rather. That's where it's going to go. Um, I think just like for the path leading up to it, that's what I'm going to use. So it's fine if, if that's the case, that I can't put it, like, underneath. I think it'll, I'll still find um, a good purpose for it. I mean, I actually do have Nook Miles for some new patterns. So if I'm specifically approaching, like, this, with, like, a plaza area in mind, I don't know if I was vibing with any of those yet-to-be-unlocked patterns when it comes to paths, but maybe they'll come in handy for some plaza purposes. I don't know. I'm a thirsty. Mario wants a drinky. Looks like the Cooking Mama company is going to have a legal dispute with the company that made the company. Or rather, with the, the company that made the company. With the company that made slash published the game. That's really interesting. What a crazy turn of events, huh? There we go. It's still kind of nothing for now, but I can see this turning into a pretty cool area. As Tortimer watches us from afar. Always watching. Is there any reason I need to be here? There was one more thing that I wanted to do. Right, resident services. Path patterns. I posted it in the Discord for anyone curious. Ah, thank you. Yeah, everybody was, like, going crazy about that story a little while back, but... It's interesting to see where that's going. So let's see, if I want path patterns, I would go this way. So we have here... What would be good for a plaza? I think this could be pretty good, and it would kind of match the resident services a little bit more. A wooden path permit. This could actually be pretty cool. A wooden path. If there's one thing I know about wood, it's that the wood in Splatoon 2 looked really fucking good. And this is the same team. So I my prayer is that it has the same shine to it. If you unlock the custom patterns for terrain, you can overlap stuff on it like paw prints and leaves. I mean, I, ha I still have 2,000 other Nook Miles. Should that be what I go for? Oh, this is 2,300. I guess I can't.
I'll get this one. I'll get this one is what I'll do. God, the yellow and pink side buttons on my phone are fucking spectacular. I'm really happy with how those came out. Yeah, where's the mute switch, though? Oh, wait a second. I could have gotten the custom path thing because... When I spent the first 2,000, I had this. And I believe that would have taken me mm -hmm, to 2,340 nook points. That's fine, though. We'll get them sooner or later. And there's no rush. Let's see. Oh my god, I've only been going for an hour. <laughs> it felt like two. I guess because the shop's closed is it makes it feel that way. Um, Here's my new plan. I'm going to hunt for wasps, bugs, and all other sorts of creepy crawlies, and I'm going to sell them to Flick. Because I want to know what his deal is. And I've yet to discover that. All I know is that, is that he takes commissions, and I gave him some bugs, and apparently I have to wait three business days. But, like, what else does he have up his sleeve? What are his reactions to the bugs? I actually haven't been doing tree shaking of any kind, so we could get a couple of bell coins or furniture, uh, furniture chunks from this stuff as well. And you know what? It actually kind of works out because now... Now that, um... God damn it. Now that Nook's Cranny is closed? Hey, nice. I'll actually be able to sell things past 10 p.m. Not for a 20% fee, but rather a 50% bonus. I didn't know that you didn't have the rest of them. Yeah, I just got um, KK Slider and Terraforming and stuff yesterday, so I already kind of like blew a lot of my Nook Miles that I already had. Like just on the sole ability to place um, cliffs and, and waterscapes and stuff like that. Also, I need to, to put this back down. Phew, there we go. Yeah, I, I could see how, how a custom path could come in handy there. If I redo these little strips as, um, as paths instead of, like, laid down textures, Will they get the same, like, edge treatment that, like, this stone path has with, like, the grass? And will the stone, like, connect to the rainbow, or will they, like, remain separated? I would assume not, because there's a dirt path next to the stone path, and that looks like this. Well, that's interesting to think about. Also, I don't know if this has any truth to it, but in my experience, I tend to find wasps most commonly um, from the trees up on the cliffs. So after a few of more of these, I think that's probably going to be uh, where I head to. Well, hi, Audie. What are you up to? We're seeing a lot of one another today. He only has one commission slot? Yeah, but I can still like sell him bugs, right? The trick is, if you can't see the bugs, then they can't see you. Tell it to the tarantulas that decide to start chasing me all of a sudden. Or the wasps, because I don't see those coming. You can also curve them. Oh, I'm aware of that. You can see that I've got a few paths that already have a bit of a curve to them. Oh, unless you mean like being able to curve stuff like the rainbows, in which case that is actually a really good feature that I should be considering. God, I can't believe. Dress, can you believe it? It's fucking crazy. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> Delicious wasps. And yet my hunger does not stop. I don't know. I, like, I've got recordings on my Switch that I've shown on stream where sometimes, you know, I'm just shaking trees and I get like two or three wasps in a row. Sometimes I get like multiple pieces of furniture in a row or like four bells. Uh, coins in a row. I don't know, more often than not, I find myself 
wanting, like, wasps are above bells and furniture on my list, because that's that kind of has the highest value if you can successfully catch them. Which apparently, I don't know if I got this on stream or not, but check this out. There's a Nook Miles reward for... I actually have to read the names of these. I was initially just looking at the logos, but then I realized that probably doesn't have anything to do with the thingy. Or maybe not? I mean, these are like bug themed, so I'm assuming it's these. Unless this is the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, you have to catch five wasps in a row. That's what I did. And I'm proud of it. Also, let's talk to Raymond one more time. I love you. Wow, you're really proactive today. Disrupting the old-fashioned hospitality model. I like it. What's the latest? Hey, Griffin. Want to know the secret of my success? Okay. It's all about visualizing success. Just close your eyes and imagine the thing you want to accomplish. It's easier if you just visualize something super easy, like eating some rainbow sherbet. <gasps> Sherb! He ate him! She just keeps crafting away. Raymond is a he. And again, that's why he he's wearing a maid dress in the first place. And if that is something that's not immediately clear to you, then I'm afraid this may not be the right stream for you, because that's kind of my brand! Hey, read Raymond's dialogue in Nathan Fielder's voice! Why would I do it in Nathan Fielder's voice? Also, hey, look, Wolfgang is home. I already talked to him in the museum, but I guess I'll pay him a visit now. The plan looks sexy, so people will give you free maid dresses. I feel like I'm on the cusp of a good Nathan Fielder voice, but I'm never quite there. Also, that tree has got to move. Oh, <gasps> guys, Wolfgang wears glasses. This is really cute. Also, like, look at his home. You know what they say. <gasps> guys, he has the ironwood kitchenette. Holy moly. No crafting table, though. What's he playing? I meant to look at the music player, but I guess I can't. Nice of you to stop by, kiddo. Let's chat. I heard you dug out a bunch of new rivers yesterday, Griffin. Oh, I did do that! I'm real proud to know someone with your kind of gumption, Snarl. What can I do for you? Please do not mention Raymond eating Sherb. Well, I don't have to, because that's what Raymond does for me. Hey, Griffin, let me ask you this one thing. Time. Friendship. Money. You can only pick one. Which one you got? <laughs> Good answer, kid. I know time is tempting, and money is real tempting, but friends are gold. Shoot, with us being on the same brain wavelength like this, I think a friendship is just getting started. Does that mean that you'll accept gifts yet? Nah, just saying hi. Suit yourself. See you around. Eh, I'll talk to him one more time. You'll like this, Griffin. I try to avoid sweets, but... I just had a yogurt parfait that was delectable. <laughs> See, I'm glad that I that I talked to him one more time to learn that information. Wolfgang looks like an old man with their He looks cute with his glasses. Leave him alone. If you ask me, it makes him look like Bernie Sanders, which is if you think about it, that's just repeating what I already said. That being that he looks sexy with them. I ship them. Who? Me and Wolfgang or Raymond and Sherb? Fuck, somebody... I forget who it was. Somebody told me, like, Vor relationship terminology during ukulele, but I fucking forgot it already. I really don't deserve my chat. <laughs> 
sexy old man ooh woo are you saying that bernie <laughs> isn't sexy okay okay femi that's the hill you want to die on pred and pray that's the one no that I, that sounds familiar that's the one let's see i have some bugs i guess i'll give them to flick do you want a wasp's nest too it doesn't matter how much i treasure the bugs they'll never notice what i do for them that's so sad uh-huh oh um sorry just you know thinking so have you found any bugs yet i'll buy any kind no questions asked i've got a bug to sell really what kind wasp raymond is the pred to sherb's prey a wasp be shrill my squeaking heart it's it's so beautiful keep it cool flick your wasp would you perchance sell it to me for oh 3750 bells sell sell R really Th thank you This is the start of a beautiful relationship, Flick. Let me know if you catch any more. I love you, Raymond. I mean, Flick. Well, I guess both of those things are true. Freudian slip. Folks, I've got like another like half hour before it's a reasonable time to switch games. Should I? I don't know. Should I like take on some terraforming projects? Keep hunting for wasps? I'm not sure what to do. I feel like now that there's no more like immediate goals to work towards besides Mabel, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what to even like be doing on stream. Imagine how everybody else must feel who's already gotten terraforming and the Able Sisters like weeks ago. You know, what have they been doing with their time? See what I mean about these like consecutive bells? It's a real thing. Flick would say ZOMG. Flick would say Smexy. Oh, whoa. Double sofa. I like double sofas. What, is, what does it look like? Oh, guys, this matches the one I have in my house. This is perfect. Ooh. These look flickable. Mystery Island, maybe? Yeah, I mean, there's uh, plenty of villagers that I still want to work towards, but um, you'll only meet villagers on a Mystery Island if you have open lots. If your village is full, they stop showing up. Which means I have to convince an existing neighbor to move out first, then free up the lot, then I'll be able to get people from Mystery Islands to show up again. And I mean, like, like that was the problem with, like, yesterday, because I had the opportunity... Um, to have Keaton from Vicente's village move to Yaoiville, um, I just wasn't able to do it because my slots were full. Because of fucking Nick Robinson. That's being very generous with the bells tonight. And very generous with the wasps. Yippee skip yahoo. Yo, just like Simpsons from the Homer show. Are you talking about, like, the, the color of the couch? It's like a pinkish red, so I'll take it. I have no complaints. Wasn't Flick literally just hanging out around here? Where'd he go? I don't know, go inside. He couldn't have warped. There's Gale. Let's talk to Gale. Apparently she wants to talk to me. Guess what? I've got something here for you, Griffin. Yeah. I thought maybe you could use a raglan tea. Could I? I was, for some reason, I was going to try to wear the double sofa, but let's see what this looks like. Oh. These are the sort of things that I wear in, like, real life. Also, fucked up that it says 19 instead of 20 on this, because the game got delayed. Where'd my boyfriend go? Bring him back! Oh no, where is he? Does he disappear? Is it too late? Oh shit, there's Mira, a long time no see. 
See, I'm not, she's one of the people who I want to leave, so I'm not sure if I should even be talking to her or not. However, she is like my number one source of new reactions to teach me, so, hmm. That's a bit of a dilemma. Where did he go? He can't be inside the museum, can he? If you already did your dailies, there isn't much to do besides decorating or farming bells. Well, I have like a couch and I have some things to sell. I just can't fucking find for the life of me. My little lizard friend. My little lizard lad. My little lizard... My friend! For some reason, I could have sworn I saw an atlas moth on that tree back there, but I guess not. Give me the lizard. Talking to them doesn't affect if they leave or not. There's also a nook mile for talking to everyone each day. Well, once I like all of my villagers, then that will be the case. But I tried to, like, do some research on, like, what makes people leave. And apparently, like, hitting them slash ignoring them. Like, I see arguments in both directions. And... Stewie I've been mercilessly beating the shit out of without restraint. I guess I could give this to Flick, too. There we go. But, um, the only villager that I've gotten to leave so far was Billy. And Billy, I never, ever, ever talked to. So, my assumption would be that the cause of leaving is probably closer to ignoring them than it is, like, attacking them. Imagine going to a museum and then somebody commissions you while you're in there. The dream. Imagine being literally anywhere and somebody commissions you. Nah, my dreams are too unrealistic. See, because I'm worried if I, like, whack them too much, that that counts as, like, not ignoring them. And so, whatever, like, neglection timer that there may be, and again, this is all just my theory, will, like, make them stay even longer. But Nick Robbins and I haven't spoken to at all, and I haven't seen a, a thought bubble over either of the bears. So I've been trying one way of getting rid of them with Stewie, and another way with Nick. And so far, no success either way. Where the flick did he go? It's misinformation. Even if they like you, they'll sometimes ask you to, if you want them to leave. I had Celia move out on week two and we were besties? Oh. I don't know. Something in me, I just... There's gotta be a way. Because I didn't like Billy, and Billy was the one who asked to move out. I think there's gotta be something more to it than just it being random, you know? Is Flick behind the museum? I don't know. Okay, guys, I think Flick is actually gone. I've scoured pretty much the whole island, and I don't see him anywhere. There's Adi, hanging out with Shobi. Oh wait, there he is! I'm legit jealous you have a basement in your house, Griffin. Basements are great for screaming. Nobody will hear you. Singing. I meant singing. Okay. Okay, Thank thanks for sharing, Adi. Thanks! Thanks for sharing! Pashmina asks to leave first of anyone, and I talked to her literally every day. Hamlet moved out of my island today, even though he was one of the villagers that I talked to the most. I'm pretty sure it's literally just random based on how long they've been there. You probably just have to wait, and then it randomly happens. Great. Close your eyes. Reach it with your mind. Feel the bugs. Feel them crawling all over your skin. 
dissolve. Uh-huh. Oh, um, sorry. Just, you know, thinking. So have you found any yet? I'll buy any kind, no questions asked. Well, I've got, I've got a couple kinds. I've got a few that may pique your interest. My pointy friend. A whole swarm! This is the best day ever! Okay, tone it down, Flink. <clears throat> Can I offer you, say, 19.5 thousand bells for the bunch of them? Why, yes, you can. This is the man of my dreams, not only because he's hot, but also because he's given me lots and lots of money. Oh god, it's the bunk beds all over again. <laughs> Amiibos are a surefire way to kick people out. Maybe they did it this way to sell more cards. I have Amiibo cards. There's not any of any villagers that I like. I think that uh, that was a theory that uh, Chris actually suggested the other day. Um, and as an iPhone user, I don't know whether or not that's possible. He's precious? He is precious! I love Flick! It's a shame that he's not going to be here come the next day. But maybe Mabel will, because I do like me some Sable. Maybe one day I can be on, on the road to that. And by the road, I mean the road. Are there any, like, more gaps in in my streets like that? Or are we finally in a good state with that? No, take a look at that. They're all solid now. Oh, that's looking good. It's really coming together now. You get to choose who the Nemo villager asks to leave. No, 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 no. I'm saying that if I want a villager like Apollo, like, hold on. I have my Amiibo cards right here. I have a card of Stitches, I have a card of Rosie, and I have a card of Goldie. And I think those just came with um, um, Amiibo Festival on Wii U. And, I mean, if I had to pick, like, Goldie's better, for sure, than um, Stewie or Nick Robinson. However, that doesn't get me any closer to getting the, the cute bird villagers that I want. Because then my village is still full, and I can't actually get randoms coming in with people like Apollo. Well, I guess there was that mouse that visited the campsite the other day. I don't know why that happened, because my village was still full. But that, for now, that's really my only hope. Unless somebody else asks to move out. Griffin B. Yiffin Galactic thinks the lizard's hot, everybody. Stop the presses. Oh, you don't think so? Listen, if I make a Gaijinka, if I make another Animal Crossing Gaijinka, you know who's next. Look at him. Look at his fucking choker. Look at his spiky net. Look at his jacket. Look at his lack of pants. What's not to love? Wait, download? I accidentally hit plus. What the fuck does this do? Oh, that's how you scan the QR codes from your phone. I didn't even know that's how that worked. I thought I had to wait to get Able Sisters. That's interesting. You could still invite them to get a free recipe every day if you want that. But I don't. I just want the Ironwood Kitchenette. Is it called a Kitchenette? Let me actually take a look at those. But we all, we've all been struggling with the, with the same thing. That'd be cool to craft. Not this. This. It is called a kitchenette. Do I have a dresser? No, I have a, a workbench, which actually looks really cool. And that's a cart, so I don't have, I have no, none of the recipes for the other things. I have no idea how you get more things in the Ironwood collection. I mean, the garden bench... It seems like it's, like, from the same series, right? And this came from, like, a bottle or a balloon or something, and nobody had them, and the, everybody wanted these benches. So, I guess it's, it's just fucking random. I don't know. I don't find the Animal Crossing villagers hot. I think that they're cute. When when I put them all in maid dresses, you will, you will think again. You will regret your words and deeds. Hi, Sherb. Look at his little lunch bag. It's cute. I 
I still think that the, the biggest missing feature from Animal Crossing games, also I am definitely going to make that nicer looking crafting table, and I'm sitting on that second sofa, baby! Now then, let's find a way to, like, organize this in an interesting way. Mm, maybe if I do this... This could be, like, an interesting... No, I would need more floor space between them. Hmm. So something like this could be pretty good, maybe. Maybe, like... Once I start finding tables, which for some reason are still incredibly scarce in this game, I could, like, put them between or something? I don't know. No, something like this would be cozier. And then I could, like, put a lamp in the corner there. No. I'll do... Did not mean to rotate this. I'm kind of onto something. I'll do this. And then I'll put a lamp there. And then... Maybe the crafting table, once I make another one, can go, like, here-ish? I wish I had, like, more furniture that I would actually use. Griffin's a bigger furry than most openly furry streamers. You have to be lucky to get the ironwood recipes. So I need... I need to make a mini DIY workbench. Do I have a recipe for one of those? Isn't this a mini DIY workbench? Oh shit, it is. Okay. So I need one of the... Well, hold on. I'll just take this and then go outside and just use this one. Um, Let me just double check what I need. I need the table and iron and... Yeah, I need 12 wood as well. Let me get that from storage. Stop trying to make me want to snickerdoodle the animals. Speaking of snickerdoodling the animals, did y'all watch the Zootopia video? I did, I did! I like it when chat sends me video essays. You know? Because that's like my crack. And I don't like, I don't usually find those on my own unless it's like from something that I'm subscribed to. So I've been really appreciating. Like, I know I have Super Eye Patch Wolf, but I'm not really subscribed, and I haven't, like, gone on a full binge, so... Even stuff like that is, is a pleasant surprise to have every now and again. Uh, Ironwood DIY Workbench. Take a look at... Ooh! That is nice! Hmm. But does it go well with the sofas over here? Maybe it should be sectioned differently? Ooh, here's, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Sorry, KK Slider. I'll put the, the player near here so you can put on some music and relax. But also I'll rotate it. Or, hmm. I can rotate it and put it against the wall and then put like a table in the place where I was originally going to put this. Yeah. We'll get that going again. Hmm. Let's see. And so the workbench can go... I guess where that used to be? Maybe in the corner? Yeah, I'll put it right next to the popcorn thing. Maybe! Hold on. I'm gonna repurpose that for the... I don't know what you would call it. But the bit in front of resident services that I'm working on with, like, the, the snack machines... I think that might look nice over there. Well, in terms of furniture that I actually like, this is looking a little bit nicer, but like, really take a look at how much I'm still sitting on and how much, like, I still don't really like. Actually, this is a pretty nice armchair. I might keep that. Um, but the rest is like, like kitchen stuff, or this could actually go in my clothes room. 
Um, this could be good for a bedroom. If I had a table to put this on, this book could be pretty good. Um, but that's about it. And the rest are just clothes. I should post that Werehog video I was talking about in the Discord. I would share more video essays, but I feel weird just jumping, dumping them in general. That's fine. Kind of think the point of general is to be generally about anything, so I think you're good. I'm not sure how to position this because of where the door is. Hmm. No, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that where it is. That that could be a good spot for it. But feel, I feel like if that has to be there, then now I want this against the wall too. I don't know. Also, I can't tell which side of this is like the front side. I think this, because these are like little drawer knobs. And then that's the back of the drawers. So if I do put it against the wall... What the hell? You know what? That's not bad. Now it's still kind of against the wall, but now maybe it uses the space a little more effectively. I like that, actually. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, I need something to, to occupy my time with while I spend each night waiting for the videos to encode and render and whatnot. God, I love the floor space up here. It's so good. Yeah, let me just put a fucking hardwood tree in a wasp nest in my room. Real quick. Oh, that's real good. That's perfect. I was gonna sell that. At first I saw no utility for it. But now, my life has been changed. Also, as far as, um, custom patterns go, I, I, also, I'm going to make this go all the way out to the beach. I still don't know what I'm going to do with, um, like, the bed, because my initial idea was to, like, make the bed look like it had a Keaton body pillow on it, but the only thing you can do with bed patterns, like, you have to make them tile, and... I, I don't know what to do for, like, a tiling bed design, so, you know, I might just make it, like a, like, a solid red color or something to make it look like the Fire Emblem bed. I don't know. Um, what else was it going to do? Right, popcorn machine! Maybe I should have saved some of those balloons that I got from Easter. Those could look good here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that could be good. Maybe one day I'll even put them on the floor instead of, like, in the grass. Hmm. Yeah, and then the house path could come back. Actually, I'll do that right now. That's a good idea. And that's how that'll connect. I'm definitely going to have to start moving, like, some more trees around. This isn't going to, like, specifically connect to my house. In fact, it's going to crash right into this tree. However, when I eventually get around to moving my house, believe me, that path will connect to a real house. But for now, it, it has the illusion of being symmetrical enough, I guess. Does this connect to anything? Kind of. Whoa, look at, look at the shine on that vending machine. That thing's radioactive. You can maybe break it up into two pillows. Is she trying to come to me? No, she just really wanted to sit near that tree. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Right, I think if I get the bed, and then I get some customization kits, um, it'll preview what it looks like when you put a design on. And I've done this on my own time, not sure if I've done it on stream, but I'll try to explain, um, a bit more clearly 
the problem with how it tiles, um, because it's weird. I want to do like a really cool gag for this, but I don't think it's possible, honestly. Let's see here, let's see. I keep meaning to buy more of these Nook's Cranny, but every day I forget to. I'm beginning to run a little bit low on them. Let's craft. So, if I take... Well, no, I, not craft, I have to customize. That's its own thing. But here, take a look. So if I click on the bed, and you pick the pattern, first of all, you can just change the color a little bit, which is, you know, it's something. But if you click custom design, watch what happens. So this is plain. Actually, this this uh, this um, depicts it most clearly because there's um, a border around the, the frame. So you can see that it's like it's like a three by three tiled grid. And I also tried to like think of something. Well, maybe I can make it look like the bed is covered in Keaton plushies, but I don't think that would look very good either. I have no idea how I'm going to make anything other than a solid color work. Unless you want to make it look like a quilt, which is kind of um, the thing going on here. Like, I feel like, like my options are really limited. I really, really wish that I could ju just make the bedding one big design instead of having it tile like this. It drives me crazy. Like, I put thought... I. Like, I put lots of thought into this sort of thing, but it's, it's tricky. You can always add a video sharing channel to this the Discord. Hmm, maybe. Well, you know what? Because we were talking about video essays on stream, in this instance, you can get away with putting it probably in as, as seen on. I've also got to sell all this fruit still. And put this wood back. I'll put this in the clothes room, too, actually. This one's cute. Like, for the basement, for the town entrance, I've got some pattern ideas for that, but... Nothing... Nothing for the bed yet. There's some challenges I've yet to, to overcome, it seems. Uh, Alright, this can go on the wall. Is there anything... Hmm... Let me take a look at my storage one more time. Are there any other clothes that I like that I want to hang, or...? No, I think I'm good. Did Raymond just give me his outfit? <laughs> yeah, okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I'll sell my things up, uh, off, and I'll probably wrap up then. But guys, guess what? It's a normal night again. So there's gonna be more than just Animal Crossing. Yippee skip yahoo. Actually, if I were to get rid of that tree, would that line up with where my house is? Eh, just barely. It would kind of bonk into the mailbox, it looks like. Oh, that's cute. Sherb and Gale said hello to each other. See, they can stay. Yes, please. Oh, man. These are worth so much. It's a bit sad. A little bit. Let's see, how many bells am I actually sitting on as well? Oh, I can put cherries. I forgot cherries. But I just forget how much I have um, in the bank at the moment. I might put another 50,000 in and then maybe make another 100,000 on my own time. Who's to say? Is there anything Isabel can do for me now, now that we're done with island evaluations, or are we kind of done with her? I don't know, I just assume that, like, the progress keeps going, but I'm beginning to feel like I kind of did everything that I can for the time being, aside from the Able Sisters, I guess. Not bad at all, though. You know what? I'm going to pay off a little bit of my loan, is what I'm going to do.
bring that down to a cool 2 million. Actually, you know what? There we go. <laughs> I just thought of the worst joke I've thought of all week. Yeah, I guess if I'm looking for something to do, I can start fucking around with the, like, the amiibo and Harv's Island. Because I keep forgetting to do that, so... Maybe next time. Maybe tomorrow night. Kajima, before I'm gonna go to my Animal Crossing bed, and you can tell me your joke before we switch games. So make it quick. I am walking at a, at a slightly slower pace just for you. This is good, though. It feels good to finally have terraforming and ramps and stuff. That's already paid off. That's gonna be ready to go tomorrow. Oh, it's exciting. Hmm. Was there anything else I'm gonna do regarding house layout? Regarding bathroom? Do I have any bathroom stuff? I might. Is that considered bathroom stuff? Like, can you put stuff on, like, the shelf of a toilet and treat it as kind of a table? I don't think you can. This would be really good for, um... The, the cliff that I'm in the middle of terraforming to put my mansion on top of. So would this, but I'm still really bummed that they don't emit light. No, I think I'm done. Garbage cans could be good eventually, though. Furry toads be like, Yiffy skip Yahoo! Kajimafu, I'm not going to dignify that with a laugh. I'm going to crawl into bed and I'm going to pretend that I never read that. Anyways, that was Animal Crossing New Horizons for tonight. Thank you for watching. Coming up next is a bit of a weird one. Star Fox Guard. So if you're interested in that, uh, stick around I'll, and I'll be back in a sec.